some of you guys out here were flipping defending chin and calling him a good dude and saying he's an amazing guy and stuff but i don't know i see this clip of chin at home making himself uh what's he making sorry i think he's making a tortilla or something a burrito or something on those kind of lines and he's making it using canned ingredients that you could easily just make you know for real i just see this and see a very lonely and sad man in my opinion personally i don't know that's what i see um and it's just a bit sad to see somebody his age doing stuff like this on his own so he's not laugh crying he's at home making this shit like uh, god almighty chin man you know taco i did from one of these cans well i drained this out as much as i could to imagine going on instagram and posting yourself making canned tacos right bragging about it you're in la of all places you live in los angeles california and you're bragging about making tacos out of canned food shit well i drained this out as much as i could took out as much harmony as i could and this is what i'm left over with this is guacamole i made with this hopefully no way he made guacamole from a packet no 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 <laughs> Yo, 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 I'm no fucking vice cook or Netflix cook, but even I know how to make fucking guacamole. This guy got, I didn't even know you could get guacamole in a packet. I swear on my life, I didn't know that was possible. I didn't know you could even buy it in a packet. That's ready made. I had no idea until this. Fresh success, classic spicy guacamole seasoning mix. You can buy guacamole seat. Like, are you insane? You live in LA. You can't go to the local bodega or shop down the road and get yourself a flipping couple of, you know, cheap avocados and make some guac at home. Really? No way this is real. Packet guacamole. It's not backwards. This man's like 40 something years old, isn't it? Right? 45? He needs a girlfriend or a wife ASAP. It probably is. And these are zero net carb tortillas. Of course. Everything packet. Bruh. Bruh. I swear I've seen in my life YouTube videos where you can make an entire tortilla and it, the whole thing, the whole taco from scratch in less than half an hour to an hour. It's pretty, it, from what I've seen. I, again, I've made my own pizza though and I'm literally nobody when it comes to cooking. I can make the pizza from scratch from the ground up, right? The own pizza though. <laughs> and this guy's buying packet meat, packet guac, packet tortilla. What else is in the packet? Everything? We'll see about that. I'm warming up the tortilla over a flame like this as I've been taught from my Yo, this this guy's living like a fucking um he's living like a student. No pan, no nothing, right? To put in like okay, whatever. I can still do it this way, but Jesus Christos. He probably has like one plate, two one fork, one knife, a couple of paper plates. <sighs> Friends, how you do this? <laughs> so this is what I have right now. A little drizzle of cheese. <laughs> it's imagine the fucking the contrast brendan at home with his um mexican wife who he clearly hates right and he doesn't embrace that culture in the slightest brian brendan hates mexican culture he's ordering domino's pizzas all the time he hates eating all the fucking beans rice bean rice bean rice right dicey dicey right beans rice beans rice he hates fucking mexican cookies right chocolate chip cookies with salsa on them he hates all that shit he runs away from me. He hates the fact that his kids speak Spanish. All that shit. He hates it on that side, right? And then he's got all the access to all the things he needs. And he's got a mom, you know, a, a mother in law that lives there that can make a legitimate, ridiculous, authentic Mexican food because she's the only one that's actually Mexican. You know, his wife isn't. She's fucking from California. She was born in Hollywood, but whatever. And then you contrast that with Chin on the other side of it, living in his apartment, making fucking tacos out of canned and packet food on his own. <laughs> and sharing this stuff on instagram what is this is this like a is this like a weird like um girlfriend bait thing is he trying to bait girls into messaging him oh you should share it with me we should be in there together like what is it because this just looks really lonely and sad like i'm not gonna lie like sharing stuff like this like a dinner for one this this just feels sad and lonely like that plate looks lonely that plate looks sad. Looks devoid of juices. Like, did he? Oh yeah, didn't he drain the meat? He drained all the meat of the juices, right? So whatever juice that meat had is gone. He's just uh, what relying on the guac that's been in the packet. That it, what you had to like? Do you have to microwave that? Is to add water to it? I don't know. Maybe it just comes already done. The cheese that's oh, oh god, on whitey chin.
And then this is the stomach lining. Tripe, tripe, menudo, and of course a giant. So menudo is soup. He put he puts soup into his taco. <laughs> Bottle of chulula. <laughs> That's a. F <laughs> Why has he got such a big family bottle size of Cholula, or Cholula, sorry, hot sauce, but then he's got a dinner, like, oh, no, This is what it looks like before it goes down the hat. This is the boy that you guys are defending in the chat. When I was laughing at this guy, laugh crying, laugh singing, sorry, oh, sorry, crying singing, you guys were taking a piss at me and saying I was being too harsh. Oh, he actually's got a good voice, you're hating. No, he doesn't. When he sings, it sings like he's crying. And now he's definitely going to be crying, eating this shit. Look at that. Fucking hell. Look at that. Mm. Stomach lining. And here we go. He has to be on, you think he's a bit on the spectrum? He's a bit on the spectrum, innit, right? Or no? Or is it just, what do you think? He's a bit on the spectrum, innit? Not, not it's a bad thing, but there's there's a sprinkle of tisms in there, I think, personally for me. This man's 40-something years old, you know. <laughs> Of course it's delicious. Give it a shot. That doesn't look like a face of somebody that thinks that's delicious. Look at his face. He'd be better off jumping into his car and going to the nearest food truck, right? Not food truck diets, but the nearest school of like, because in LA, I've watched videos again on YouTube. They've got these little areas where they have food trucks that park up and shit. And some places have like, you know, roaming ones. I forgot who the guy is. Is it David Cho? He had one and a few other people. They have famous trucks where they go around and they flip and have good, you know, Mexican food. I'm sure there's an authentic person on the side of the street who can barely speak any English who's fucking chefing up some amazing tacos, right? Why don't you just go there and get that and just come back in your car and pick that? Why would you do this to yourself? Why would you do this to yourself? Legit, downstairs, there's some, there's some um, abuela downstairs right cooking up the best food possible and you're doing this like this is legitimately horrendous if you're saying yeah there's 10 like hold oh, on god you guys were defending him you guys oh no he's a good guy man like it's like god almighty man this is like this is sad my guy is lonely man he needs some companionship for real and like i said the contrast is amazing on one hand, Brendan's got a Mexican wife who loves cooking that food and he hates Mexican culture on the other side you have chin all on his own trying to make this food in a weird appeal to what get the latinas to jump in these flipping dms or something like jesus christos i don't get it in the slightest i really really don't it's sad it's a it's disappointing it's leaving me shaking this is shaking for me this is literally me shaking watching this holy shit <laughs> that food did not look appetizing or pleasing in the slightest he said it was tasty but i don't think so <laughs> right now, a little drizzle of cheese, and then this is the stomach lining. Tripe, tripe, menudo, and of course a giant bottle of chulula. This nigga's pr pronouncing it like it's a thing. Like, okay, cool. This is what it looks like before it goes down the hatch. Look at that. Mm. All the flipping Mexican senoritas are in his DMs now, trying to holler, yeah. Stomach. Lining. Papi, you make the. Here we go. Pure tism. Pure tism. Of course it's delicious. <laughs> exactly. Look at look at the swallow. Look at the swallow. That swallow was not good. That swallow was look at the swallow. Give it a shot. No, look look at that swallow. Look at the swallow. Look. Of course it's Of course it's delicious. Give it a shot. What is it? It's all here. Hold on, watch it. Of course it's delicious. That, that didn't look good. <laughs> Hold on, I saw the swallow. <laughs> look, 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 look. Of course it's delicious give it a shot <laughs> that vein that vein's like he went that went through the sound of his mouth for sure that was not a good swallow that was not a good swallow of course it's vain look, look at that face
<laughs> that was not tasty. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. That's nice. <laughs> oh, he needs a girlfriend or a wife so bad. It's not funny. He's so lonely, man. He must be so lonely. Having to sit in that studio with Brendan and flipping BGL, saying a joke and explaining it two times, you know, whilst he's flipping, doing lines under the table or some shit. (laughs) Holy shit. That was horrendous, man. Oh, God, that was incredible. That was really, really, really good. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that a lot. I really did enjoy that. 